it looks like a cross between a xenomorph and an eggplant emoji, and I want to use it. What's up guys, and welcome back to Infectinator 3. So last episode, Peru and Ecuador decided that they were going to team up and become heroes. They were going to cure the zombie infection, they would save the world, and my zombies wiped them out. And then, Colombia and Venezuela decided to step in, and they would become the heroes, and they- Nope. Wiped out. Now you'd think after losing four countries, technically two regions, South America would get the hint, and they would just kinda give up and play possum like the rest of the world, but no, no! Now we have a new contender stepping up to the plate in Brazil. And I'm willing to bet you can guess what's about to happen to them. Now we could technically take on Pablo Escargo, I'm not really sure why the boss of South America's name is Pablo Snails, but we can get to that later. Right now, I think we need to focus on the cure and Brasilia. Especially because I think right now I have a bonus going on. Like, I got a news report that said that it's particularly drizzly in South America right now, and because of that, my zombies have a higher chance of infecting people? Like, I, I talked about this last episode, how I thought this was just narrative, that it didn't actually do anything, but now that I'm seeing negative and positive effects, it, it might actually be gameplay related, which is kind of cool. I mean, the news reporter lady wouldn't lie to me, right? She looks like she's ready to get wet. Get your mind out of the gutter. I meant get wet like run in the rain or go for a swim or bathe in the blood of 40 humans. There is so much military. This is getting genuinely difficult. Like, I'm worried I'm not going to be able to finish this game. Because right now, like, as soon as I drop the infection, they're going to get wiped off the face of the planet. Um, where can I go? Maybe up here? Maybe I get these military personnel? Okay, and then we're going to drop uh, special zombies like Yeti. And we just need a, a strong zombie front over here. Oh, God. Look at all the bullets. Are they dead? I think my zombies are dead. They were they were dead. Okay, we need to drop more. I need to special summon chubbies. And I really need to just bomb Zit. When Zit shows up, I need to grenade them. Oh, they're all dead again. All my zombies are dead again. Bur oh, I lost! You see what I mean? It's just instant! Oh, that sucks so much. Look at all of the... Oh, that's not good. I've raised panic, but I didn't succeed. I just need to keep pouring money into damage resistance. I think that's really all that's gonna save me right now. Support items, um, yeah, I I could really use some support items. They're pretty good. It's just, I can't waste money on support items because I need them for my zombies. Can I make my zombies any stronger? I think base zombies are already level three. I give her to Chubby, don't need you. I might want to start bringing larger groups with me rather than solos. Like, I love the Yeti, but he just gets mowed down. <laughs> and there's just one of them. Whereas if I summon like uh, maybe a group of, I think the military is just one. Who's a group? I think some of them come in hordes, don't they? Am I losing my mind? No, they're all solos. I thought there were some where we get like three of them. Crap, okay. Well, maybe we can upgrade military. Make one, two, three, four berserkers, and then that'll make us one, two, three military personnel, which we can then upgrade. Okay, I haven't done a lot of upgrading. I think that's something that I really need to get to. So now they're level three? Yes, level three. So we should be able to keep making more. God, oh, and we get money for it, which is good. That go to upgrades, that go consumables. <laughs> I'm getting used to the whole lab thing. Like, it's not a natural thing to you know, splice zombies together into bigger zombies. You don't really do that all that often in real life. Can we level up the jock? I feel like jock is a pretty good one. There we go, okay, level two. Level three, good, good, good. We can bring you with us. So now we technically have eight zombies to bring with us. Every time I lose, not only am I raising the panic, but I'm letting the cure progress. And right now, if I lose again, oh, no matter what, the continent panic level is gonna go through the roof. So I really need to succeed. Do we wanna go back to Brasilia? I didn't like Brasilia. Let's go to Sao Paulo. No offense to any South Americans watching, but this place is a dump. <laughs> this looks like, well, it looks like a zombie apocalypse, okay? It looks like my zombies have already been here. Honestly though, look around. How many people do you see without weapons? Anybody? Anybody at all? I think I see like one lady walking around with a beer. And even then, she could probably smash it and then jab a zombie in the eye. What if we go, like, in here? 
and just start making a, a strong zombie front. Oh, okay, you know what, that, that's a large group of people. What if I, I need to get them nice and bottlenecked and then every time they're bottlenecked, I can hit them with it. That's what we're talking about. Okay, get the special zombie. Oh, okay, wait, we got the zit. Zits there, get them boys, get the zits. Pop those zits. <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting a better strategy now. If I can find a little secluded area to start the infection, it'll give me time because the special zombies have a cooldown. I can't summon them all that quickly, but then I can start spamming people as quickly as possible. And then when the enemies group together, mowing down all of my zombies, I can bomb them. So I only need to use one or two consumables every time. Should be good. And now we only need to be do that twice more. Oh, come on. Give me something good. That's not bad. Six leapers. Might be able to craft them into something good. At least you're still looking gorgeous. Oh, you changed. Now you're very military-esque. Nuclear strike in South America? What? A random region on this continent is instantly destroyed. Government opts for nuclear strike to purge infected areas. Ooh. Okay. So did they just nuke part of South America? I said that they haven't learned their lesson and apparently they haven't. They actually nuked a region! They, they just wiped out- They wiped out the cured region! I didn't even have to finish it off! Oh my god! Rapid response unit in Russia? Man, the world is really falling apart. Sta will come as backup. Riot police are ordered to swiftly respond to any attacks. Okay. So panic level's going up again. We have another boss, the Lion King is waiting for us in Africa, and then we have a beaver waiting for us in Canada, but I, I needed to beat this twice more, right? I needed to bring it to full panic, and then I needed to kill them all, but they just opted to nuke the place. I honestly cannot believe that. That is hilarious. Those scientists were probably working incredibly hard. So we can go with damage resistance, again, perfectly fine with me. Uh, we need more consumables. They're all very handy. And I think we have another DNA upgrade. Yeah, okay. Thick skin, don't care. Hypermutation, don't care. Death grip, give me new zombies. What do we got? The grabber. They'll chase you down and hold you in place. Oh, I think that's the one with the creepy hands that we keep seeing at the beginning. And the stalker. You're never out of reach when this creature can leap and grab you. Okay, so that's a mix of a leaper and a grabber. What is that? It looks like a cross between a xenomorph and an eggplant emoji, and I want to use it. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Get out of here, jocks. Okay, we got, uh, oh, it's a special. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, Tae Rong and T Moon. Okay, you know what? I like that. I like that quite a bit. And I'm just now realizing we can use basic zombies, 25 of them, to upgrade our special zombies, which I should probably be doing because I use them all the time. Uh, you can get out of here. We want our new zombie. Where did we... You. Stalker. I'm gonna waste a few just to get enough stalkers to give them a try. This is gonna be great. Okay, so we wiped out another region. Kind of, humans get to take credit for that one, I suppose. And there's no more cure, so we can go wherever we want. Ooh, technically South America's panic level can't get any higher. I guess once you nuke part of your continent, then that's the last straw kind of thing. So how about we do a boss battle versus Pablo Escargo? Ooh, okay. Come on, you zombie punks, let's dance. It looks like Ron Jeremy on his phone. <laughs> What a random boss. Like, I've been waiting to go to the beach. Finally, news reporter lady can have some fun. Is it just me, or are there a lot of bald guys on this beach? It, it's uncanny, and I think some of them are naked. Maybe they're just wearing tan-colored pants, but they look bald and naked, and it's freaking me out. I'm just looking for an opening here. There's so many guns. How about we go up here? There seems to be a whole lot of people hanging out over there, and then when people are busy, we can drop an infection over here with some eggplants. Go, go, and then, eh, and then, eh, and we're just gonna go on all fronts. A leaper, a grabber, special guy, I don't know. Oh crap, they are really, they are really grouping up for me. That's what I like to see. Nice and grouped up for the canisters. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Yeah, you guys want a burger, right? 
that burger just convert all of them? Zit, zit, we gotta, we gotta pop the zits. Pop the zits with grenades. I got them, maybe. I keep getting them all grouped up up here, but I can't get them. Oh, we didn't get the boss. That's not good. That's not good. He's got little Russian comrades following him around. We don't have many zombies left. Guys, can you, can you get him? Get him, get him, get the boss, get the boss. Not his minions, I got nothing left. I got nothing, absolutely nothing. I used it all. We just have one little basic zombie, so the boss survived. Well, isn't that a massive bummer? <laughs> oh, oh, I thought he was gonna do it there for a second. I thought we had a hero zombie. There's just there's so many freaking guns. There's so much military, even your military now. We're gonna level up Jason, because he makes all of my zombies stronger and take more damage, and that's incredibly important. And then I'm gonna waste a bunch of money on support items, because I just can't help myself. I think that might be better. We don't really need goo, because we need to be able to blow up Zit as soon as they show up. And then I don't even get an upgrade, because I lost. This is just tits. I don't think I really want a rematch with Pablo Escargo. He kind of kicked my butt. What if we go against Justin Beaver? <laughs> if I lose to this kid, oh, my zombies are gonna get some talking to. Here's the boy now, and I was like, zombie, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny, I like that. Oh my god, look at all the military! I can't get over this. The game is completely different, and I didn't stock up on zombies. I'm such an idiot. Okay, um, well, we're gonna start our infection in here behind closed doors. Okay, we're gonna get a couple of zombies starting in there. There we go. Okay, you guys can infect, and then I'm gonna open the doors, and we can spread graciously. Just, oh, 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 no, no, I really don't appreciate that. Maybe uh, a random, bur oh, crap, 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 crap. They're, they're all dead, they're all dead. Get the, get the, the cheerleaders. Cheerleaders aren't dying. I'm just bombing cheerleaders and they won't die. Oh, that was the boss. No, I'm such an idiot. <gasps> they were the fangirls that were following Beaver around. Damn it! I hit them with a canister. I was like, oh yeah, all those soft, squishy, unarmored girls will turn into zombies for me, and they just took it on the chin and spat in my face. I think I need a quick vacation. Okay, these bosses are just ramrodding me. It is not a fun time. So how about we bring our zombies down to Australia and Wellington, where we can use landmines and berserkers and kill a bunch of humans and just relax. You know, a typical vacation. I was about to say this is much more my pace, but I see more military personnel than civilians. Holy crap, okay, open all the doors and we're just gonna do our very best. We're gonna drop a burger down there and uh, you know what, why don't we just drop our little zombos up in the corner where they're nice and safe and away from all the military and I need to use these berserkers so there's no point in holding them. I think we're doing all, oh zit's coming, zit is coming, zit's coming, okay smash, smash the zit, pop the zit. Are we doing okay? We have a bunch of zombies left, but Zit are real strong. I'm gonna hold off on my consumables, I think. Because you never know when a berserker, right, when they take more damage, they just lose their freaking minds. Who's the long-haired berserker? Oh, that's his powered, mm, that's not good. That's his powered up form. That's a, that's a fail burger, that's a fail burger, that's a fail burger, fail burger. Mm, I tried to get them both with the burger and I missed. Oh my God. Guys, I'm having a bad day here. I'm not a big fan of the eggplant zombie. He's not really doing it for me. How about we bring in the Yeti again? I need a fan favorite. We'll get a bunch of zombies here. Get with 10 more to craft with for later. And then I'm going back here. You know what? I'm not going to let them off that easy. I forgot to use my landmines. Everybody loves going down to the beach and catching an infection and then having a bunch of zombies tossed on them and then stepping on a landmine. That's just the way things work. Oh, 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 I need, I need to summon zombies. I need to summon zombies. Where, oh my God, I didn't bring any consumables. I am gonna lose. I'm so, I've, I've already lost. It, it's over. I, I don't think that this guy can carry me. I can use my landmines, that's for sure. Wow. This is, uh, it's a mixture of my terrible, terrible mistakes and the fact that I am now fighting an uphill battle. I'm looking at all my zombie stats, and it seems that the military, as expected, has the highest damage resistance, so we're gonna slot them in, because I just need my zombies to survive. Like, I lay a special zombie, and then when I go to click on the other one, by the time the cooldown of, like, two seconds is ready, they're dead. 
So I'm just funneling in one at a time rather than forming a, a good front wave. And of course there's another cure. Europe, what do you want? What is your problem, Helsinki? Is that Finland? Sweden? I don't know, it's gonna be a crater when I'm done with it. I think I'm gonna try to use these doors to my advantage because Zit can't open doors and I have most of the military personnel outside. So if I infect inside, she'll give me the time to spawn all of my zombies and then release them and hope that they just know what they're doing and go in the right direction. They tend to not really do that. They're sort of idiots. So we're gonna infect over here and uh, I already used my burgers. That's fine. Okay, get you guys going. Doors are open. Good, okay, door is open, you guys can go, and I'm gonna get you guys backed up by Jason. More military, where's Zit? Oh, this is going pretty well. We have a good little force going. Go military zombies, they are just working Zit. We needed more muscles, that was what the issue was. Okay, that worked really well. This was a harder level than the last one, and we still got through it with, with less consumables, and I really appreciate the maid outfit as a celebration, okay? Is that a maid outfit? That might be like a Swedish, Finnish thing. Looks kind of German bratwurst. I'm not sure. The problem now is military zombies are really, really expensive. I might bring jocks this time because then I can actually use those 25 craftable zombies to upgrade probably Kruggy. Krugy? Yeah, we use him so much that we really need him to be a higher level. His damage resistance is pretty good. I really need to start looking into the stats more in this game. I just don't pay attention to anything like that when it seems incredibly important. Welcome to Stockholm, where they apparently have a large stock of nuclear missiles. Is that true? I don't think that's true. <laughs> Once again, we have a nice little indoor area to infect. And I need to use landmines, so how about we infect and then we'll just drop some landmines outside, get these guys out of the way. Uh, doors are open, doors are open, and I, I should be summoning zombies. I should be using hotkeys, actually, come to think of it. All right, eight and then nine. Landmine the zits. Uh, they, they don't care about landmines, apparently. Grenade the zits. Grenade the zits, there they go. Oh, all zombies are dead. Not good, not good. We, we could use some more, thank you. And the jock, okay. I, I, actually, I don't even need to waste that jock. Oh, look at the little weird hands on him. We didn't get a good opportunity to take a look at them, but oh, they're like salad fingers. <laughs> don't like it. Everybody's dead, we did it. Ooh, I wasn't sure if this was gonna work out. This episode was going downhill really quick, but we are wiping out places again. Well, I guess the best defense is a good offense. How about we kill the people with guns faster and that way we survive for longer? It all adds up, right? I think I need to be crafting a bunch of zombies, but again, I kinda wanna upgrade my Yeti. Yeah, let's upgrade the Yeti. He deserves it. His damage resistance is through the roof. It's like triple any other zombie I have. Finally, we're in a place where you would actually expect to find a cure. Great, look, so far we've been infecting beaches and huts in the woods and street blocks expecting to somehow damage the cure. But now we're in a hospital, there's research, there's doctors, there's doors, big fan of doors, especially when you can burger inside of the doors and then open up and get the zombies going. Special zombie backup, okay, there we go. You guys have everybody going behind you. Oh, Zit came this way. Oh, screw you, Zit. Oh, they came over here, I don't like that. Bomb them. Oh, the zombies are just running all over the place. Look, they're spreading, I'm not even doing anything. Okay, you guys do your thing. I'm gonna open these doors up here, and I might need to get a jock up there, but they are just going bananas. I like this, was this one of the upgrades that I bought? Was this Kruggy's work? Kruggy? It's probably Kruggy, but I, I just, I like calling him Kruggy. <laughs> Makes him sound much derpier. We got them all? Ooh. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better now. We're actually getting more difficult levels and we're developing strategies rather than just clicking, which is kind of what I've done up until this point. Give me something good. I don't want 100 coins. I, I want a couple zombies. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I don't know why every time I start a level, I question where we are. It's never gonna make sense. It doesn't need to make sense. Zombies don't care. They're not here for the architecture. They're here for the brains, the delicious, delicious brains. And oh, no burgers. It's gonna say delicious, delicious burgers. That was a great segue, but instead, we're gonna infect behind closed doors 
and uh, maybe just get a little jock in there. That would help a little bit. I'm going to hold on to Kruggy. You know what? I think you can probably take care of things down there with a the jock friend. And how are we doing? You know, I kind of like just dropping a canister every now and then. And Kruggy, could you help people down there, please? Because they seem to be hurt. No, Kruggy's down. Kruggy's down. Not good. I got to keep an eye out for where Zit's over here. Okay. Um, mines. Got him. And grenades. I just need to use consumables to get rid of Zit because my zombies cannot handle them and open these doors. Why are we not infecting in there, guys? Everybody move east. There you go. You, you, you see them? Just jump and, and grab. Touch the butts. There we go. Nurses are... Oh, I thought the nurses were healing each other. But it's Gianchi. I had a mutated Gianchi that's healing off of the delicious brains. Guys, there's two more. They're, they're talking about how they love not being eaten. Get them. They, they don't seem panicked anymore because my zombies are just dipshits. <laughs> okay, how about you get them? Smoosh. There we go. And get the last one. Come on. Blue 42. Blue 42. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on, come on. Get her. Oh my god, she's a runner. She's a runner. She's, she's dodging the mines. Ooh, okay. I was worried there for a second that she was going to get away. <laughs> Maybe we can turn her into a zombie and she can be a quarterback because she was just juking the absolute pants off of my jock and you could be a cheerleader. We got, we got the whole team sorted out. Well, I'm starting to see why the military has so much damage resistance is because it takes a million zombies to make them. Look, I need to use three zombies to make a bomber, and then I need to use a combination of five zombies to make a berserker. So technically, every military personnel has eight zombies stitched together to make those muscles. It's kind of terrifying when you think about it. I don't really have any more upgrades that I want. I don't think lifespan doesn't matter. They get cut down. Speeds, eh, it doesn't matter. I think attack and damage resistance are what I want to focus on. Maybe infection chance? I could always use more zombies, I suppose. Why not? But right now, we're gonna kill them all. Guess who forgot to restock his consumables? Oh dear. This is going to be difficult. We're gonna cut this off in half. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close these doors. We're gonna infect inside or outside? Where do you think Zit's gonna come from? Probably outside, right? So how about we infect here, and then right away get our special zombies down to help out. Zit should be arriving very shortly. That's fine, because we've already got the whole supermarket turned upside down. Doors are open. Zit is nowhere to be. Zit are stuck out here. <laughs> they can't get through. I should open the doors. I do need them to get around. Or do I? Can I infect you guys? No, but I can infect people around them and then they can get cut down. <laughs> what kind of elite personnel are these if they can't get through a supermarket door? <laughs> That's it! Stockholm's entire last defense were those people. Okay, a, a grocery store door stopped this country from surviving, I want to say. Oh, that that's a whole lot of panic. Yeah, when you hit their Coleman's, that's that's an issue. You know, you can't be dropping their produce. Okay, we good? Region destroyed, region destroyed, region destroyed. I like to think she reads it all out that way. Uh, mass hysteria in Europe, as you would. World panic goes up a little bit. Okay, yep, nations are looking for a cure. Did I get anything? Not quite. A whole lot of money on the horizon, though, but... Come on. Go go down, get out of here. We still got lots of time left, but like, what are you thinking over here, Asia? You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Infectinator 3, guys. And the difficulty has ramped up significantly. Like, I'm sure you guys can already tell that this is gonna be a little bit tricky to finish off because there's still a lot of green and a lot of yellow and a lot of regions that haven't been touched, but now they're fully militarized. And I am worried that I'm just gonna get a game over because it's not a guarantee that you'll finish a playthrough. You can get to the point where your zombies are too weak and the civilians are too strong and you just can't move forward and you have to you have to surrender. That's what the button is for. I really don't wanna surrender. So hopefully next time we can come back stronger than ever. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.